סיוון הנדלסמן, יוגב יפת, שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. We are sitting here in the Givatime Theater shortly after a wonderful performance of your new play, Samir and Jonathan on Mars. And I will start by commending you for a wonderful performance. Thank you. And maybe the best way to start this conversation is to ask uh, Yogev. Yogev, we have just seen you performing like a virtuos. I mean, you are not only a, a playing the main character, you are playing all characters, and I counted more than 10. <laughs> is it a dream come true for an actor, or is it a nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> it was my dream. Uh, I always wanted a one-man show, and uh, also that I'll do uh, lots of uh, characters, and it was uh, by accident that Sivan uh, met me, uh, that uh, mutual friend, uh, recommend uh, uh, to her yeah. and uh, it was it was like a dream come true to to make all the characters uh, from my imagination our imagination to, uh, to the stage and I'm glad you uh, you, you like it I found it uh, amazing mm -hmm. and I believe I can be wrong of course but I believe that not only by the reaction of the audience tonight, uh, audiences, not only in Israel, also abroad, including Palestinians, will find this uh, play very, very important. It really makes you think. Sivan, yes. I know that you had the opportunity to perform this in no other country than Colombia. Right. Can you tell us a bit about this experience? Yes, it was a wonderful experience. We traveled to a festival called uh, La Carpa de la Paz, which is like the tent of peace or something like that. And the people there, we, we are perform, performing in a small, very small town in Colombia and nobody knew what is Israel there. I mean, who are we? And they really, really liked the show. They enjoyed it very much and they started asking questions about us, about the conflict in Israel, about how we live. And we met a lot of friends from a lot of um, areas of conflict, different areas. In Latin America, in Colombia, yes. Mexico, and, um, Venezuela, Chile, yes. and it was uh, very important and very uh, fun. Very to, unique, also, unique to meet people like that through a show. They've never uh, uh, heard about Israel. They have lots of conflicts in their own uh, country, and it was uh, very uh, it was very shocking to us to know that there's people in the world that uh, doesn't know the, anything uh, about Israel leave our because we are reality. the center of the, of the world you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, after the, the show uh, they were they were very impressed and uh, very uh, uh, they very like it uh, they asked us uh, where is it where is Israel what about it and we talk about the uh, about Israel about the conflict and about us that uh, we came to Israel after 2,000 years. <laughs> I know that the origin of this uh, play is uh, based on a book originally written for children. For youth. For youth. Yes. By Daniela Carmi. Daniela Carmi, yes. And I know that the first performance was part of uh, Teatro Neto. 
which, is, which is a festival for solo uh, performances. performances. Uh, in a way, at least for me, this reminded me of The Little Prince, the wonderful <laughs> book in which the hero, the boy, is asking everybody, draw me a ship. And the resemblance yes. is staggering, I believe. But of course, this is so unique that you probably, correct me if I'm wrong, wrong would like to take it farther yes. in Israel and abroad. So yeah. what are you planning, if you can share it with us? <laughs> uh, when we were in Colombia, we met a lot of people from Canada and from Mexico. And they really wanted us to come and to do our show there. Because they really believed that we can touch the audience there. I mean, everybody. And we are planning to, to do that, starting in Canada, I believe, and then we'll see. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of uh, yeah, stories, not like that, but similar in, in, in all over the world, when uh, two, two countries or two um, or the nations into the country are uh, in conflict, and uh, they can find uh, our story very similar to them. And They can, it, it can touch them. And so. it's also very touching to see it through a, ch a child eyes. I mean, everybody connects to this yeah. child. <laughs> And the message, the, 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 the last line of the, the play, uh, he, he, Samir tells the... He, say, he said, he say we, all, we all share the same material. We, we all... Uh, stardust. St stardust. We all stardust. So this is the message, and is, the message is very uh, unique, and, and it's universal, it's very human. And another connection to the little to prince. The little prince, yes. Yeah. Stars. Stars, yeah. Which is really <laughs> amazing, and I must say, it's very touching. I have noticed the reaction during the play of the audience, and it is very emotional for people, and I think we have to commend also Daniela Carmi, who wrote this uh, story in the 80s. Yes. In the 80s. Which is quite a long time ago. Mm, but still relevant. Very relevant. <laughs> Very. <laughs> but we have to commend her, I think, for showing so much empathy yes. to the other. Mm -hmm. And you know what? For some, to the enemy. Uh, and to enter his shoes yes. in such a, a genuine way. I think it's quite remarkable. Yeah. And, and also in the adaptation we did to the book, she really was very generous about it, you know? She gave us the book and said like, do it what you want and you can take it and you can fly with it. And I, and I think why, why is it, it's so important It's because it's not only because Samir is Arab and, and Jonathan is Jew. It's also in the nation, uh, in Israel or in uh, all countries, we have uh, lots of people uh, that uh, share the same country, but they're very different, you know, in, uh, in color, in race, in, in, but if you can see uh, beyond this, and you can see that you are human as like them, this is the message uh, that it's important more than, you know, Arab Jews or, or It, 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 to see the different, uh, to see the man, the, 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 the person that is uh, not like you in, in the shape or the you know, face, but is also like you because we're all human. Yeah. So despite of the fact that Israel is indeed the center of the world, yeah. Yeah. it's a very universal <laughs> message. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> For everybody who cares about different people, different characters, About different people. cultures getting along, mm -hmm. despite of all the difficulties. Yeah. So, basically it's very optimistic. Very optimistic. Yeah. 
Yeah. Although it's based on a tragedy. You know, in, the, in this show I noticed that everybody is laughing, laughing, laughing and then crying in the end. So for me it's like a combination. Bittersweet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like life. Like, like life, life itself. Sivan and Yogev, I want to thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. I want to wish you that you will take this wonderful play all over the world and I believe in doing so, especially when it comes to our neighbors, immediate neighbors, uh, the Palestinians, you are basically building a bridge that otherwise is so difficult to build. So, good luck and תודה רבה. תודה רבה, אמן.